Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for May 1st. May 1st is the 121st day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 122nd in leap years, with 244 days remaining to the end of the year. May 1st is recognized in many countries as International Workers Day. May 1st is also traditionally May Day, a celebration of spring. May Day traditions might include dancing around a maypole, crowning the Queen of May, <laughs> giving May baskets, which are small baskets of sweets or flowers usually left anonymously on neighbors' doorsteps, maybe not so anonymous these days with such things as motion-activated camera doorbells, but there you go. Anyway, it was quite a pleasure doing this research to be reminded of these activities for May Day. Today's word is anagnorisis. Anagnorisis is a noun that usually refers to a dramatic story, perhaps play or story, in which it means the point in the plot, especially of a tragedy, in which the protagonist recognizes his or her or some other character's true identity or discovers the true nature of his or her own situation, an epiphany, if you will. Anagnorisis comes to us from Greek, where it came from words that meant to recognize or come to know. First known use of the word anagnorisis is in 1783, anagnorisis. And with that, the first official adhesive postage stamp called the Penny Black was issued in the United Kingdom on May 1, 1840. This was actually an innovation in postage. Up to that time, British postal rates were high and difficult to understand, perhaps arbitrary. The recipient of mail had to pay postage on delivery and charges were based on how many sheets there were and how far they'd traveled. One never knew how much that might end up being. I need to send you a letter and you've got to pay for it when it gets there. What if you don't like what I sent you? <laughs> That's how it was. <laughs> and so a man named Sir Roland Hill wanted to have some kind of system where postage was prepaid and that letters up to a half ounce, 14 grams, could be delivered at a flat rate regardless of the distance that they had traveled. He presented the idea of a prepaid stamp and a prepaid envelope now, of course, we all know what an envelope looks like today, but apparently this was a new thing back then. It was described as a separate sheet folded to form an enclosure for carrying letters. Brilliant idea. <laughs> you know, we've grown up with them. We think they've existed forever, but maybe not. The idea was accepted and the design was chosen for the stamp and the design for the first stamp, the Penny Black, included a profile of Queen Victoria and there you go. Now these stamps were issued beginning today, May 1st, 1840, and were valid to use beginning May 6th. Prepaid postage, one half ounce, any distance, good job. This is the birthday of American singer, songwriter, and musician Judy Collins, born May 1, 1939. She studied classical piano as a child, but her interests turned to folk singing, much to the dismay of her classical piano teacher. Her debut album, Made of Constant Sorrow, was released in 1961 when she was 22 years old. Since then, she's gone on to complete 36 studio albums, nine live albums, and a whole bunch of compilation albums, with somewhere around 20 of her albums making it onto the charts. I counted 22 singles, with over a dozen of those making it onto the charts. Lovely voice, Judy Collins. I'm glad she survived the pain and heartbreak in her life. She sure had plenty of it, but she survived it all and brought us all this beautiful music. Judy Collins turns 84 in 2023. Judy Collins. And in honor of Judy Collins' birthday, today's song is Both Sides Now. This one was written by Joni Mitchell, and Judy Collins released it as a single in 1968. It's become one of her signature songs. It's also been featured in movies and TV shows and has been covered by dozens of artists in the intervening years, including a couple of versions by the song's author, Joni Mitchell. But we're talking about Judy Collins today, both sides now. Link in the description. And I'm going to wrap it up here, but I have covered some other things in previous episodes of things that happened on May 1st. 
and I'll include links to some of those in case you'd like to see them. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that's called, no really, you can also find me on Rumble, BitChute, and Getter. All those links in the description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. Do not disturb. Okay, I turned do not disturb on. Good job. Third time better be a charm. <laughs> There's no the there. <laughs> one more, one more time. <laughs> Attra attracting. Just read the whole thing over. Are you are you making some sound? Get on out of here. <laughs> and we're gonna edit that out. <laughs> Don't alienate people who can be helpful to you flinging happiness all over the place all right back to work i think we got it this time